Hey there friends, it's your good old friend Eric here from the Action Toys channel. And as you may hear, that is my chair. Time for a new one, but not happening for a while. Um, today's project is just me catching up on cleaning up some 3D prints. Um, this one is pretty much already done. It, it prints pretty solid, prints pretty clean. Um, I am using a Labis 3D printer, the student version. And for some reason, it's been acting up on me. Um, it's now not working, not functional. Um, so, gotta get funds to buy a new one and and, and fix that one. So, um, that's why you haven't been seeing a lot of 3D print videos from me as of late. Um, as you can see, when it gets towards the top of a, of a print, it gets, uh, it gets really hot. No, I've already put a little bit of paint on the top of this one because it prints like I print it down like this and it doesn't turn out too bad. Um, one second, I'm looking for my, my light. Oh well, we'll make do. Okay, so literally, um, this is a vintage replacement. Um, you can get off of Thingsverse if you look. I, I source out some of my stuff from Thingsverse a lot of the time. Um, if I'm not making my own stuff, which I don't always post on my channel because I want to monetize it at some point in the future, um, this fits in. Um, this prints down like this, and to get the best results, because this is the display section. Oops. Now, I when that happens, you have to sit here and go through and iron this all out. Uh huh. And uh, me, I don't have um, a soldering iron, so I just heat up a pair of old pliers. And just sit here and go through it like that, just turning it around. <clears throat> no, I, no, here's another one. This is the one that comes with this exact shield. Uh huh. No, you can glue it in like this and it'd be fine. Um, this is a failed print. I have made multiples of these, and they're uh, this one was printed this way, so it's printed down. Uh, I would suggest printing it like this. Because if you don't, you end up getting this piece. You're gonna have to cut this out, and it's not the best experience. And uh, well, let's just put it this way: that's garbage. So we're gonna get to the part where we're at today. And that is just—I'm just gonna show you guys, because I put I've—I've I've made this shield in gray, black, orange, yellow, pink, blue, red, purple. <laughs> um, but. I've never done a whole lot with them. I just stuck them on a He-Man figure in my on my shelf. Now I'll admit I could have done a better job um, cleaning this out. I got a raised spot right here. One second. Now I need a proper pair of um, plastic nippers. But I tried to make do with what I got. Which is kind of the motto for the action toys. We love the broken and use what we are dealt with. Which most times is a whole lot of nada. Okay. Now, just some minor touch ups. I gotta sand, I go through and sand it, obviously. But just wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> these are two separate artists that made these uh, print, th these uh, models. Um, I still got to go through and clean this out a little bit better for it to fit, but you know what? I think it's good enough to glue right now. Yeah. You hear that? It's not quite fitting. I wonder if I just turn this a little bit. That's actually not bad. <clears throat> now do I have my... yep. Alright, let's get to it. Now, again, hit me up. I am Grand Magus. That is capital Grand underscore capital Magus on uh, Thingsverse. Um, I haven't posted a lot there. I mainly just have like two stands on there. And when you print those out, they will be in reverse just for copyright purposes. Nothing special. And, uh, yeah. See, that's that. And if you give me a minute, I will go get a... Wait, do I have one in here? No. I will go get a 
He-Man figure. Um, by the time I get back, it should be done. Oh, never mind. I have one right here. I have a snow sprout that I have been really remiss in fixing. That'll probably be my next video. Um, I also got to say something, guys. Now, the algorithm says that you guys want more videos more often. The, I would, I've been doing that, but to be honest, I can't keep up because I'm running out of projects. I've got this. I got a road ripper I filmed earlier that where I just I have a 3D printed wheel, but my printer broke, so it's got it's not the best quality of wheel. Um, I have a Kenner Aliens figure I got to make a horn for, and then after that it's gonna start getting really really slim, like where, where I'll be putting legs on, on figures, and I know I've done that so often I just don't know if I should do it or not. Um, Oops, dropping stuff all over. So, is it? A, I would just want to know if I would get enough attention from you guys to do just one or two videos a day, or do you want like the 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 the, ten, the, the six to ten videos that um, has been working, and I mean my my view count's been going up because of it. If not, that's fine. If you do, that's fine too. I don't mind. I just, I just want to let you guys know that it's getting to be un unsustainable now that my printer's broken. Alright. It's already on. Okay. Oh, he's got fit. He's got fist. That's no good. So, okay, that's not, not the correct figure for this. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to get one. Well, guys, we're back. Um, I had to go get a mechanic because I have a butt ton of them now. Look at that. It fits. It works out well. Now, this one was printed in black because at the time, all I had left was pink. And I ran out. But this is the actual... This, now, I've been printing all my stuff in pink, if you noticed. If you noticed, I have a nicer uh, wheel there for Road Ripper. That's in case I ever get another one. Uh-huh. Now, you guys see my mace. This print was actually pretty cool. The only thing I found that was wrong with it is that the uh, handle was no good. It's too thick for the vintage figures to hold on to. Now, print it out. Now, this was painted, so it's lost a lot. It's lost some detail. That's fine. Uh huh. Now, I just took these wooden dolls. I've heated it up with a uh, like a. Uh, a punch piece heated this up punched it in a little bit and then inserted this in glued it painted it it looks fine it's not the best but it's not it's not bad right so there we go so there's that guys mechanic this is a restored mechanic can you tell i bet not now that's the one thing about action toys i like to show my work a lot of times on camera but what you won't see a lot of times is me starting a pro a, a figure from um like I'll take like a devastated figure like this guy here he was completely covered in paint okay and I started uh working on his uh, arms and stuff this is a completely this is not a, a merman or this is not a stink or slash merman arm it's obvious but yeah I got to do some more work I got to go in through do some proper uh, maintenance on it but yeah. This is a this is one of my restored projects. This is five different mechanics. One, two, three, four, and then the arms come off a different one. Five mechanics put together. And yeah, the paint on the head's not bad. So guys, as you see, the shield fits 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 a He-Man figure's arm well. It looks good. Um you can print this up in gray. I used Overture. This it, this PLA I um, had a hard time with. It is Taiwanese PLA. Um, that's just the brand. All right, guys. Until next time, stay awesome.